Known abroad for being one of the smallest states, but it is the only place in the world that measures people's happiness, Bhutan, or Land of the Thunder Dragon, is ruled by its monarch, King Jigme Kesar Namjo Wangchuk, who became one of the youngest kings in the history of the world. Having ascended to the throne a few years earlier after the abdication of his father, and since then, he has been committed to improving all areas of the quality of life in Bhutan, remaining attentive to all the details and traditions. But this seems not to be entirely true, because unlike previous kings, King Jigme turned love at first sight into a love story that crossed the entire world, and that earned him the chance to meet his queen, Jetson Pima, who has been the only woman in his life. Has the king broken his traditions for his marriage? Yes, he did, more than once. Many things have changed, making this place much more accessible to the rest of the world and even to its own people. This couple has brought fiction to the modern world with a love that has gone through a long wait. It was more than 15 years ago when both were still very young. The king, who at the time was only the heir to the throne, was about 17 years old, while she was 7 years old. And by pure chance, in an event of the royal family vacation, he saw her for the first time. Their families had coincided in that place, and although she is not royalty, her family had always been considered close to the monarchy. Her father was the grandson of the governor of one of the country's most important districts and a commercial airline pilot. And her mother, Sonam Chuki, descends from one of the oldest noble families in the country. That is why Jetson grew up among Bhutan's jet set. However, compared to royalty, she was considered a commoner. But as if fate would have it, he joked with those present, making a comment about how charming she was. Her personality dazzled everyone and anyone who would be smitten by her beauty once she came of age. So he declared that one day, perhaps, he would marry her. Years passed, and they both studied abroad for quite some time. He attended Oxford University, and she spent a few years studying in London. But when the king decided it was time to take a wife, the world was perplexed as to what was about to happen. She returned to Bhutan, and he had never forgotten her. In fact, he sent someone to fetch her, because the proposal of years before was a promise. There she was, Jetson Pame, ascending to the throne as Dragon Queen, the queen consort of the man who 11 years earlier had told her they would marry someday. But this was proven when he began to break certain traditions. In Bhutan, polygamy is not a problem. In fact, it's allowed, especially for royalty. In fact, for spiritual matters, it's known as an important tradition for the Dragon King to take more than one wife. Such was the case of the former king, Jigme's father, who married four wives at the same time, who were the mothers of his ten children. All this is because in the kingdom, when a man marries a woman, he can also automatically marry her sisters. The current Dragon Queen has sisters, as young and as beautiful as she is. But for the king, love was above traditions, so to marry more than one woman was not something he wanted. For him, she would always be the only woman he loved. At the marriage ceremony, the bride and groom, dressed in traditional attire, sat on a throne, flanked by Buddhist monks and baskets of fruit. After the ceremony, the newlyweds went out to personally greet the Bhutanese people. The celebration lasted three consecutive days. The king told them about his wife at the same time and said, She is a wonderful and intelligent human being. We share one great thing in common, the love and passion for art. But this would only be the beginning of the romance that would break all the established schemes. Since her arrival to the throne, Jetson has become one of the most influential queens of the East, showing her family, as well as providing a different perspective of both her and of the king, doing usual things like playing in the snow. The young woman has managed to modernize in this far east of the Himalayas, where television did not arrive until 1999, and citizens still have to wear traditional costumes in public places. In addition to this, the couple has caught the public's attention, since they have broken several stereotypes typical of the old traditions.
such as walking hand in hand and kissing in public. Since in this country, it's not totally allowed to show affection in public, especially for members of the royal household. But this is not the only thing in which the kings have been influential to innovate their country, because part of the laws was also modified by them, even when they became witnesses of a new and historic change, presiding over the parade of the first group of women who are part of the Royal Bhutanese Army, an approach to gender equality that they wanted to support. The kings have always been friendly with the people of Bhutan. In fact, an image that proves this is one that went viral some time ago, where sitting on a stool and sheathed in a green polo shirt, the king is shown cutting vegetables to prepare lunch for the pupils of a school in Mongar. The queen, for example, has not only focused on her royal duties, but also chairs her country's red cross and fights to preserve the ozone layer. Some fans constantly compare her to Mulan, referring not only to her beauty, but also to her determination. In the land of happiness, the kings are so beloved that crowds routinely gather to greet them whenever they tour every part of their country. The couple brought into the world two sons, princes of Bhutan, and they seem almost the portrait of the royal family everyone has ever dreamed of. In February 2016, the royal couple had their first child, Jalsi Jigni Namjo Wainchuk, and to celebrate, 108,000 saplings were planted with the aim of the citizenry nurturing them as if they were doing the same for the little prince. Queen Pima does not reject Western clothing, but she is more likely to be seen in her country's traditional dress or traditional inspired looks, almost always in cheerful colors. She dresses as her people do, as a symbol of respect and empathy. While his family continues to expand, the king does not miss the opportunity to say, that he doesn't care about breaking some traditions such as polygamy, because in fact, he loves his wife, whom he considered in a statement before the parliament of his country, that she was young, warm, and of good heart and character. So these qualities, together with the wisdom that will come with years and experience, will make her a great servant of the nation. Statements that raise thousands of positive opinions in the public about the change that Bhutan is having by integrating more the queen. Besides that, whenever she has the opportunity, she declares that the king is the love of her life. To the world, Bhutan's royal couple has been considered one of the greatest displays of perseverance and true love, not only for each other, but also for their country. Will this couple go on to make a positive change in the world? Maybe a little bit of both, because the affection shown to them day by day by their people and the respect they transmit everywhere they go makes them more and more popular. Do you think this is one of the best love stories? Leave it in the comments.